Hi, I'm Justin from Stone Canyon, and in honor of Arbor Day, uh, we are going to be taking some shredded paper that we have laying around the site, and we're going to be reusing it and turning it into actual paper. It's going to be a lot of fun, so let's get to it. So some materials you might need are some shredded paper or non-shredded paper, a blender, a sponge, a tub, a decal, cooking spray, an iron, paper towels, a bath towel, a staple gun, two wire screens, and two smallish wooden frames. Now, for those of you who might not know what a decal is, basically it's used when it comes to making paper. All it really is is just two frames uh, that are the same size with a screen in the center. Uh, you can buy one online if you like, or what I did is I made my own. Uh, there's a wonderful video about using two picture frames, uh, and then you basically make your decal from that. So I bought these two frames at a store where things tend to cost around a dollar and then maybe some change. Uh, and then basically I took the kind of cardboard that's in the back out along with anything that might still be in it, so I'm left with just the frame. And basically I took a wire screen, attached it to one, and then I took the other and left it open. And that's it. It's real simple. So the amount of water that you want in your tub should be just above the height of your decal. Your decal should be able to float in your tub. So you don't really need that much water. If you add too much, then what happens is, is all the paper pulp that you're going to be pouring onto your decal will actually end up flowing over and you'll lose a lot of that excess stuff. So just a little bit, just enough for the decal to float. So the first step is going to be adding some shredded paper. Now the size of your blender might determine how much paper goes in, so you might need to do a little bit of experimenting. Remember, you can always add a little more later. It's hard to take away from the amount that you already have in there. Next, you are going to add some water. The more water you can add, the better. Once you add enough water, make sure you screw the lid on tight to prevent leaking. And then, give it a little shake. Next comes the blender. Ideally, you want to blend it for about 30 to 45 seconds. If you go longer, that's okay. Next comes the decal. You are going to place the top half without the screen on top of the bottom half with the screen and then submerge it in the water. Pour the paper pulp around the inside of the decal. Make sure to get close to those edges so that the paper when it comes out will be relatively even in thickness. If it seems that there is not enough or that there are large holes in your paper, you can always add a little more to fill in those spots. When you are done pouring, pull the whole decal out of the water and let the excess water drain or drip off. Place the decal on the bath towel and remove the top half of the decal without the screen. Next, take your second screen and place it on your soon-to-be paper. With the second screen on top, take your sponge 
and press gently on top of the screen to draw out any excess water. This process tends to take between two to seven minutes. Next, flip the whole thing over. Once it's flipped over, continue the sponging process. When you have removed as much water as you can, very gently lift up on the bottom half of the decal and let your paper pull away. Once the bottom half of the decal has been removed, place some paper towels directly onto your paper. Next, Flip the entire thing over so the paper towels are now facing down and gently peel the screen off of your paper. Next, add some more paper towels to the other side. Next, take the iron and using a relatively warm heat, iron out each side for about five minutes. Go slow so you don't end up tearing the paper. When you are done ironing, peel away the paper towel slowly so you don't end up cutting your paper and tearing it. Flip your paper over and repeat the process. So once you've created your paper, uh, you want to make sure you let it sit out to dry. All right? You don't want it to dry too quickly, all right? so you want to avoid leaving it in the sun or the fresh air. So just set it out on a counter, probably maybe on like a towel or I used a piece of cardboard. But basically you want to make sure that uh, it's drying. And when it dries, you're going to end up with a sheet like this. It's going to be a little thicker than probably what you're used to, but the texture should be pretty close to about like maybe a card, like a birthday card or a piece of cardstock. So it's going to be a little thicker than normal paper. So if yours ends up like that, don't worry too much. You still did it right. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this little crafty adventure. Uh, hopefully your paper turned out pretty well. 
And you can always, you know, try and redo it again, change some things up, add more and less, you know, see what happens. Uh, I'd like to give a big thank you and a big shout out to uh, the YouTube channel Make Something. They played a big part in getting me the information that I needed in order to actually uh, produce the paper that I wanted. Uh, it's a really cool channel. I highly recommend it. If you're feeling crafty and you need something to do, by all means, check out their channel. They have a lot of, they have a lot of great stuff. Also, definitely keep an eye out for our uh, Stone Canyon channel over on Facebook and also on YouTube as well. Definitely check them out. They're always putting some weird stuff that the staff are doing, some fun little crafts, uh, videos, even some lesson plans that you can also do as well. So definitely check them out and good luck.